widget, getting them in your website, embedding in your website in 2021. Of course, it's uh, it's not easy. I will, I will admit to you, it's not easy. I've been in here working on this for quite a while, and I think I'm getting closer, but I did find a really good article. I'm going to link this in the description. And basically, what I'm trying to do is embed one player that refreshes every time I go live. So I'm going live through OBS or through the ATEM Mini, and this is for our church. We're trying to just hit the live button, and then it goes, and it's already live, okay? So that is that is the key. That is the key, and I think this, this article on webcam.io actually makes a pretty good thing. But they also say there's some things you have to do. Like you have to have your thing connected to... Uh, it looks like there there are there are problems. Okay, so it needs to be unlisted or set to public and linked to an AdSense account seems to be required. So this I'm not even sure they even know, and and I don't really know. But I did do everything that they said, and this is the final. This is the test. I went right here. I'm going to refresh this, and it's and it doesn't appear to be working. So uh, it doesn't appear to be working. It's just a basically a big giant mess. Okay, that's that's testing restream. YouTube in, uh, embed live stream in your website 2021. Well, maybe it does work. It's just a, oh, baby. Like a I think it is working. Okay, that's, that's oh, yeah. Testing yes, it is working. Okay, the player looks stupid, but it is working. So the live video that I'm on right now, I embedded this uh, code before I started. It was just sitting on the page. Now, it looked like it was from the last week, but when I clicked play, bam, it is working. So this... This is brilliant. Okay, let's watch this again. Oh, baby, I think it is working. Oh yeah, it is working. So I'm not trying. I'm not trying to play the audio back to you to make you. Uh, so I'm gonna do it in. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, all right, guys. I will uh, after I make sure this works, and I'm gonna format this to make it look a little better. So the iStream is this 560 by 315. Let's do 1080 by. 1920, uh, 1920 by 1080. I'm just making this a little bigger. You could make it whatever you wanted to. It looks like if I do this, it looks kind of funny. Let's update this. Let's go over here. Let's hit refresh on this page. And it will probably embed a giant player in the in the page. There it is. Now, I don't know why it looks... It looks funny. It does kind of look funny. But when you click play, and it, will probably embed a giant player it does it. Let's uh so you can change okay it's embedding the whole thing. So this this might you might want to change the size it looks funny. It does or the way you would but it is, but it is my live video. It is embedded my live video. So I have this little special button at the bottom having trouble click here to launch the live stream. So I've also have this button which is phenomenal because when they click this it'll take them right to my actual live stream. This is the actual live stream happening right now. So the the reason why this is important. So some of you guys if you're out there uh, this is the request from our church. They want to have our live stream embedded on their website. So people can go to the church at springhill.com, .org, .com. I'm not sure what our website, I think it's .org, church at springhill.org. And we just had a new website. So church at springhill and you can hill.org. Let's say .org. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess they used a .org. And they popped a boat over to com. Okay. So they use both. So right now, what we want is right here, probably on our main thing, we want it to say live stream, and this is a holder, and it's going to sit there all week until we hit go live on our A10 Mini. Now, that is going to that is going to trigger a live stream that goes into, oh, they got cool videos. That's going to, that's going to trigger a live stream uh, feed that hits restream, and restream is going to go to YouTube. It's going to go to... Um, I'm looking at all these people. Oh, this is a cool video. I've never seen this. This is so good. Uh, it's going to... Anyway, that's a pretty cool website video. Uh, it's going to go to... Okay, <laughs> I got totally confused. Woo, there's Seth. I've got all my friends on there. Let's get my friends off here. I can't I can't focus when I'm seeing this video. So what's going to happen is it's going to go... We're going to hit live, go live on the A10 Mini. It's going to pop over to... Uh, it's going to send our stream key up to Restream, okay? It's going to encode it and send it up to Restream. Now, Restream is going to grab that video, and it's going to say, where do you want us to send it? And we're going to send it to YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, wherever wherever they basically approve me to send the feed to. We can send it to five platforms, 10 platforms, 20 platforms. We're going to reach a lot of people. And then from Restream, we're also going to send it to YouTube, and we're going to use this custom embed YouTube on our front page. This is my plan. This is sort of the plan that I got going right now. Now, the... 
the reason why I had to do this is because, as you may know, Restream deleted their stupid live, their their good live widget. They deleted the live widget. I mean, seriously, they deleted the live widget. So it's 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 unless they give us another option, then this is how we're doing it. So I was testing it on my website. So if we go over to Worship the King, um, and you could actually you could actually do this. You could you could it might be the Church at Spring Hill slash live stream or Church at Spring Hill slash live service. So when they come to this page, they're going to see this, hopefully a prettier version of this embed. And I'm not sure why it looks like this. Oh, it, because it looks like that because I'm sharing my screen. Okay, that's why. It looks funny because I'm, I'm sharing my screen on the video. So when they click play, it's literally going to be playing whatever we are streaming at the moment in YouTube. Now, the only problem I have with this is this shows like videos up next. It's got my son's Minecraft videos, everything else like that. So maybe we can uh, embed the player to not show suggested videos. And we can clean up the embed player on the website a tad to where it would be the exact size and it wouldn't have all these extra things. Uh, now, I did that. I made, a custom, I made a custom change to the website video. So uh, what, is the, what is the resolution of a YouTube resolution? Uh, resolution was a 720. What is it? 720 by 480, says so 720 HD, would be 720 SD quality, uh, badge 1080, 720, 1080 by 720. I think that's probably what it is, 1080 by 720. That's probably why it's doing that. So let's go 1080, and that's probably mostly what we're going to stream in by 720. So I'm going to change my code there to 1080 by 720, and then I'm going to go refresh this page and see if it makes it a little cleaner. Aha, perfection. That is actually the perfect setup. Now it looks a little funny on my screen because I'm making a video of my screen. So you know what I mean? If it's your church, it'll just be your church would be right there. If you wanna make it a little smaller, you can, but that's a pretty big one. Uh, let's say if we went over to the church at Spring Hill and we said, I only want it to be this big. This is why this is, I think is brilliant because you can actually use um, Shift Command 4 and you can do a screenshot of 990 by let's see they want to be 996 by 568 let's call it let's call a thousand by 560 570 a thousand by 570 so let's say we're going to make this a thousand by 570 which it might change your you can do whatever you want a thousand by 570 it needs to be a thousand by 570 update that and then you can check that so now when i go to my website and look at the size of this embedded player it's going to be uh, much smaller so it'll be a little bit different so, so now when I, go to my I would say use use 1080 by 720 uh, or use something scaled down really scaled down specifically um, 720 by I, I'm, I'm not sure what the 720 by what 720 by 480 that's probably what it is so if I wanted to use 720 by 480 you could use 720 by 480 now this is I'm going to get into this. I am actually going to do an entire video later. I've got some appointments today. I'm going to do an entire video on exactly how I did this. I promise you from beginning to end. And we've got 720 by 480. That looks a little wide to me. I don't understand why that is. 720 by 480. And uh, for me, I'm just going to do 1080, 1080 by 720. 1080 by, 7, 1080 by 720. Is that what it is? I don't know. I'm going to have to look it up now because I want it to be the exact ratio. So it looks like the exact player. And then when I go over here, 1080 by 720 looks pretty good. Okay, that's probably uh, the right ratio for YouTube, depending on widescreen, et cetera, et cetera. So you can embed this player right here, I believe, whatever they're using. They could use the embed code that I'm going to teach you how to use. And I got this article. Check the link in the description of this video if you want to. Uh, if you want to fast track to this scenario solution, I know you guys are here for solutions. I know you're not here just to watch me hang out, play on my website. Um, so if you want the, the real solution, just ch uh, check the link in the description of this video because I'm going to give you the full solution when I get back from my appointments later. I'm going to actually show you how I got the embed code. It was a little tricky, but when I read this article right here, I kind of figured it out. It's actually right here is the answer. And this link is in the description right now. And also the link to my website is in there that gives you this link. Okay, I'm going to put it all on there. It's going to be amazing. All right, guys. I appreciate you sticking around. I am going to solve this, and then in a couple weeks, we're going to be doing this. Now, when you think about this, really, really think about this. If you could hit go live on your mixer, and every every time you do, it goes out to eight or nine 
social media platforms. Now, if you're talking about, yeah, everybody wants to promote themselves. We're talking about church right now. We're talking about church. We're talking about preaching the gospel. Hit one button, goes out to 10 things, Twitch, Twitter, uh, whatever whatever you can get your stream to go to through Restream. It's a phenomenal company. Check Restream out. That's what we use. That's what I'm going to use. And that's exactly what, what you can do with this. You can go out to all of these platforms uh, and you can do it uh, with one button if you set it up. We have been struggling because it's a little hard to like keep putting in this stream code and doing all this and get it to go live. We're just going to hit one button like I do in my studio. We're going to go to like five to ten platforms, and we're going to have a special embed code on our website. That's the goal. Let me know in the comments if you guys like this or if you just uh, or if I just fried your brains. I will see you on the next episode.